Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, so I feel like we've kind of been ne neglecting little blue book here <laughs> in this altered book um, junk journal. Uh, so I wanted to come back and work on in this one today. Um, I am on my lunch break, so I don't know um, how much I can get done during this hour, but I'm going to do as much as I possibly can. Um, I might have to do like before in December where I came back after work and everything. So, all right. So for the prompt today, um, I have in my mind to use number 37 prompt word heart. Um, and so I want to do, I want to do something kind of fun. So, uh, I saw a picture on Pinterest uh, of some hearts uh, cut out with uh, book page from book page and um, and so they were kind of just on the page it was a mixed media page and then around it was some watercolor and I just I really liked it um, and I thought hmm I'd like to try doing a version of that so I'm not really sure where in here it's going to go. Um, I think I think what I'll probably do is tuck it into one of these pockets um, because, yeah, maybe like even this pocket. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about, this, this book has pretty muted colors, um, so for the watercolor paints that I chose, oh, even this pocket maybe. Um, you know, I did use some bright colors on this page for watercolor, um, but I thought for the watercolors that I chose, and maybe I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but um, I have these two different sets. Uh, this is a Japanese, I had to get this one from AliExpress, and I've had this for over a year at least. Um, honestly, I'm not even sure what they're called. Uh, Boku Undo Company, made in Japan. Anyway, these are pretty much just the different colors, but they've got black mixed in. And so, like, even they're called reddish black, yellowish black, greenish black, bluish black, purplish black, and brownish black. These are gorgeous, gorgeous watercolors. Um, and then I have this set of metallic watercolors by Gonze Tambi. Again, uh, this is a Kuretake brand. Um, again, I've had these for quite some time. I'm pretty sure these are more accessible. Um, you can probably find them on eBay or Amazon fairly easily. Uh, I haven't searched for them in quite some time, so... Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they're still available. But I love these. These make the most amazing um, metallic, sparkle, sparkly uh, colors. So I thought I'd stick to those uh, that color palette for this page. Uh, but first, I feel like I need to make my. Um, yeah, we did this page. <laughs> this one still cracks me up every time I go through. Oh, maybe we should use this page. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do these as, um, uh, on a, on some watercolor paper. And this is just the watercolor paper I happen to have. Um, it's nothing super fancy. Pretty sure I got it at Michael's. Um, I happen to like how it works, but then I'm not a watercolorist, so you may disagree with me on that. Um, but it's a cold press. Um, I tend to prefer cold press uh, the, to hot press. Uh, so, yeah. So, okay, but first I need to make my heart shapes. And so I just grabbed some spare uh, book page. And I'm going to glue these two together to make them a little bit more uh, sturdy so that I can use them as like a stencil essentially um, or to trace around. So, sorry, I'm trying to get the glue off my end of my thing here. So, 
Yeah, this um, this one's gonna be you're gonna be <laughs> along the along for the ride with me on this one because I haven't really thought through other than I want to have some hearts and some watercolor and probably a sentiment. Um, and so we're just gonna gonna kind of see how this goes here today. <laughs> uh, and it just occurred to me I might want. A larger heart too. So I'm gonna pull out another book page or two and let's just make it larger. Actually I might actually have, I could swear I already had a heart shape cut out and like sitting next to me over here. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, well, here. I'll just use this. Okay. Alright, so let me put this back. Okay, so we're going to go back to the whole grade school method of folding this and because this is how I know how to make heart shapes <laughs> uh, well I'm not super good at drawing them um, so let's see how this one turns out and I want to make a couple of different sizes probably like three different sizes So here's that one. So that's about the medium size that I was thinking. Um, maybe we want the next one to be a little shorter and squattier. Um, so I'll try and draw one that way. Okay. Let's see how that one turns out. So how is everybody doing? I don't know if I've, I know I've been kind of MIA from my craft room lately. The last couple days I just not, I just haven't been feeling well. Um, it's gotten super cold here and I didn't adjust my um, humidifier, my uh, heater until yesterday and I think that was causing it to be super dry in my house and um yeah I was I felt like I was catching a cold uh and I'm still kind of recovering from it so um just you know you you feel like super tired and uh just don't really want to do much and so um that's why my video today is a little later than usual. Um, I, I try to get them out earlier in the morning every other day, but that's my excuse today. So, <laughs> um, hope you're all doing well. Been loving getting all of your comments. Um, again, yeah, I'm sorry if I didn't get right back to you the last couple days. It's just, I've been kind of in a funk, you know? You know how you kind of get into a funk once in a while? Uh, so that's just kind of been me the last few days. Uh, let's see. I think I want the, the this to be a little less tall. Let's see what this Hmm. Well, it's not really what I wanted. <laughs> and now I'm just undoing what I just did. Okay, well, that'll be fine. Okay, so we've got three different sizes of hearts. Um, to, I might keep this for something else. Might use that somewhere. Uh, okay, so I'll put that off to the side over here. So, now I've got, uh, the book page that I, I think I want to use. I like the color of this book page a little bit better. Um, it's just a little more old and yellowed. 
Um, although I do think I prefer <laughs> the smaller print of this. So honestly, I might just go find some old diction. Yeah, I'm going to go find some old dictionary page because I think I'd like that better and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found my Webster's Common School Dictionary. This one is very, very old. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know if there's a date. Oh, copyright is 1892. <laughs> so, it's very old. Uh, it's falling apart. As you can see, um, I'm kind of, honestly, I, I probably should use this cover to make a journal out of, but I haven't gotten around to that. I have a lot of really awesome covers that I could be making journals out of, but, um, anyway, so let's look for, let's look for some words that, uh, would make sense for hearts. So, uh, you know, and I guess, um, Valentine's Day is coming up. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think of this for Valentine's Day, but it just occurred to me that it is coming up. So, loose. Okay, so it looks like I don't have the page for love. Um, okay, so let's look for the word heart. <laughs> heart. Nice. Okay, so let's pull that page out. And one of the things I love about this dictionary is it's full of images to use, too. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm kidding. Um, so here is the word heart. So I'll make sure and use that somewhere. Um, I don't know that every one of these has to be love-related or that kind of thing. So, but let's see. Kindness would be another one. Maybe I should have gone this direction. H-I-J-K. <laughs> yes, I still do that. Oh, we may not have that one either. Um, kindergarten, kindred. Kindly. Kind. Okay, so kindness isn't there, but kind is. So here's that, so you can see. Well, I guess it's part of that one. Um, how many more? Kind, War warm might be a good one. I wish I was warm, it's cold. I don't know about you guys, it's just very cold uh, where I live this week. Probably also why I haven't been feeling good. Uh, so here's warm. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't know that it really makes too much of a difference. I'm just trying to think of other words. Um, let's look in my chit chat and see what we can find in here. Care would be a good one. Let's see if we can find care. I don't want to spend tons of time on this part, but I guess it is. it does matter in the end when you're going back to look later. Care. So here's that. Let's find probably one more. Let's see, we looked for love, we didn't find that. We've got heart, kind, care, warm. <laughs> Maybe warm is kind of weird. Um, Sentimental, maybe. Let's do that. Let's find that one. Sentimental. Hmm. 
Wow, did you see that picture? Look at that. Well, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. Okay, sectional. Oh, yep, we're missing. We're going from section to set two. So it looks like I pulled some of those pages out. Okay. Uh, how about the word faith? So there's the word faith there. So I'll have to work on that one because I don't know that I want that hawk. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, cut out these words in our different heart shapes and I will return after that. So here's a closer look at how those turned out. Um, I realized I turned this one on its side, but I didn't do any of the others that way. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, and now that I have these on here, I'm thinking, hmm, are these going to be too big <laughs> for the page? Potentially. Uh, so, okay, we'll have to worry about that. Um, as I was... Uh, cutting those out, I thought, what's the best order to attack this with? And um, I'm thinking, well, I think I need to find a page that I want to um, put this in. And uh, I think that page with the family album image actually would be a good one. Uh, that This one. Because, you know, hearts, family, just kind of makes sense. So, uh, I think I want to cut down my um, watercolor paper to the right size and then I'm going to do the watercoloring on that and then I'll put this over the top and then we'll kind of go from there I think is my order of events. <laughs> um, I'm also wondering, these are pretty thin um, and wondering if I shouldn't back them with some cardstock. Uh, probably I'll I'll probably do that as well. Or maybe not cardstock, but a couple layers of um, other book pages. Because I've got book pages like crazy all over the place. <laughs> so, okay. So, or even just some other watercolor paper maybe. Alright. So, let's go ahead and see how big our tag needs to be. I'm going to go about there. And then probably about there. And let's see if that'll fit. I'm gonna use my trimmer for this. So I can make sure and have a nice clean edge. out my window and there are 
very large icicles hanging from my gutter. And I'm like, hmm, that's probably not good. <laughs> As a homeowner, you think about those things differently than when you, when you don't own the building. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a tight fit. It fits, but I think... I think I'm gonna take off just a smidge from the other side, or from the edge, so it's not quite as wide. Okay. Let's see how this fits then. Where did that page go? Here we go. That's better. Okay, I can work. I can work with that. All right. So now, kind of just looking at this page in my watercolor paper, very very stark white, and I don't really want that. Um, so we're obviously going to be changing it, but I also kind of want to think: what do I want my base colors to be? And course whenever you you know I, I'm just gonna use this extra piece to kind of do a little bit of swatching and that way I can better know instead of trying to guess because yeah every time I color like in a coloring book I always work from a swatch um, and typically when I oh well here I've got swatches of this already so there's swatches of that. I should just do a swatch for this and put it in there like I did for my other ones. That would be nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll name them after. It doesn't matter um, now. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, aren't they just gorgeous? Gorgeous. That one's probably my least favorite color, but then I don't tend to, whenever I watercolor, I don't really do browns as much. I tend to watercolor more brightly. Which, that's another thing I kind of wanted to try and do differently this, or learn to do differently. Not necessarily just this year, but just in general. I want to start branching out and trying different and new things, you know? So. And this brownish black. I had used this one to color my... Um, journal pages for Halloween uh, journals a couple years ago. So I kind of used a lot of that. <laughs> All right, so, so pretty. I kind of almost want to do like a dot on top of each one to see how they will separate. That one already had one. So when they're not as um, concentrated, what they look like then. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry this. I'm going to set this off to the side for a second. But, well, actually, I don't need to. Um, I think this will help me know. And here you can kind of see a little bit better how they look. Gosh, they're just so pretty. Okay, so... Um, for my journal page, I'm thinking I just want to do a wash of color. I think I've said that five times now. Uh, sorry, I feel like I'm out of practice <laughs> from not being up here for a few days. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm just going to kind of take colors and uh, put them on the page. I think I'll start with a wet page. 
actually. Let me just use my spray. And really, I should have probably taped this down to my glass mat, but... Okay, so I'm liking this greenish black a lot. And my brain is telling me, oh, but you need to make it prettier and happier and not so gloomy. <laughs> so, uh, that purplish black is actually a little bit more like indigo or, um, black. It's a lot darker than I think I want to go on here. Uh. So I'm thinking I'll avoid that one, but I do kind of want the colors to run together a little bit. And I will uh, spray this again. And I want to just cover the whole thing. So I'm just going to kind of start. Yeah, I think this one needs to be the biggest, most prominent color. It's just so pretty. I'm trying, I don't really want to make mud though either, so that is something I probably should think about. Let me move this closer. But I love how, you know, the blue and the red kind of make a purple, but it's like a dark purple. Add a little more color here to kind of dilute this. See what this will do. Blend it in. I think maybe I'll stick to these three colors and not go outside of that. Because I do want to add um, the metallic over the top in spots. So here. That's the best thing about watercolors. You can do this and most times it really looks awesome in the end. <laughs> so, all right. So I've got some purple happening over here. I feel like I need to kind of recreate that maybe in this corner up here. I can, but I also don't want to ruin what I've got. Okay. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving my fingerprint. <laughs> and, you know, I have to remember a lot of this is going to be covered by hearts anyway. So, okay. Let's kind of move some of this color around just a little bit. Um... Actually, I'm thinking I want to pick some of this color up. 
on the edges because I like that it's not quite so saturated. Um, so I'm just taking a baby wipe and taking some of that pigment up. Um, there we go. I'm letting it redistribute a little bit. Okay, well, I think I'm going to dry this, and then this needs to sit. Um, I'm done with this set now for, for now. So um, I'll go ahead and dry this, um, or maybe just set it off to the side. And in the meantime, I'm going to back these with some uh, cardstock or, you know, thicker paper. Um I try not to use my heat gun on watercolors because they tend to spread th differently and I kind of prefer the natural dried look with watercolor most of the time. So unless I'm in a hurry, I don't I don't usually like to to do that or in this case because it's kind of um bul uh, bulging at the middle because it's wet um I may choose to do that, but in this case, I think it'll dry great the way that it is. So, just cleaning my surface here. And so, I'll go ahead and do this, and I'll be back after that. And we can um, add some metallic colors. Okay guys, so here is, I just, I backed them with some more of that other book page. Um, and then I inked around the edges with some black soot. So here's our hearts. And then um, here is our watercolored uh, journaling tag or mixed media thing. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what we're gonna call it. Um, I think I want to kind of arrange these now on here and see how much room I have really. Um, I had a I had a thought just now as I was inking around the edges where I might not have enough room on here to show all of these hearts because I don't want it to be crowded. Uh, typically I would do things in um yeah an odd number and I kind of hmm, I like that arrangement that looks kind of nice so we've got care faith heart the other thing so what I was thinking was if it didn't um all fit on here I don't want to let these other hearts go to waste so um I was thinking about how could I incorporate them maybe on on this page so that maybe they'll look good and maybe you know what maybe we'll just do this because yeah because I think that looks that looks nice like that so now hmm how to proceed <laughs> okay um I'm going to glue these down on both of these pages and I think I'll go ahead and just add some of this uh, metallic paint to the top and kind of go from there because I gotta get this to be somehow matching here and have a have an element that's the same on both so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, huh, we're just going to do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> um, I'll figure out how to, if it doesn't look quite right, I'll figure out how to, how to go from there. So. Oh, I didn't mean to cover up that little butterfly. Maybe we'll push it over just a little bit. Because nobody cares about that writing, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
there okay so let's let that dry for just a sec and I'll go ahead and glue these down okay so now why everybody's texting me right now Well, that notification was good timing because my lunch break is now over. Um, but I do think I need, since my brush is still wet, I think I'm going to keep working just a little bit longer here. So, okay. Let's see. What color? I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one. I like this one. So that would be the yellow gold. I think that'll look nice. So let's go ahead and try some of that. <laughs> yellow gold. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just put some on here just to kind of get this started. Yeah, that's that's gonna be cool. All right, so let's do the same over here. Just kind of get this wet. And, and drop some of this paint on here. And I do want this one to spread beyond just the hearts. And I think I will add more colors of the metallic. On this page. So I probably should have primed the dictionary page with some clear gesso, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get some color moving here so it can kind of go where it wants to go. In my mind, I'm wondering if I should include some of the white gold or not, or if I should just keep it to these two colors. It will dry pretty clear, like you'll see sparkle, but it's not going to be overly, it's not going to be as opaque as the other colors behind it. Go ahead and add some of this on here. Still want to be able to read that word. So I'm actually going to pull some of this off of here. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, um, for right now, I think I need to leave this to dry and I need to go finish working for today and I'll come back tonight and finish it up. So I'll be back soon. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I decided to sneak back up here. <laughs> so, just wanted to finish this up before this evening um, so I could get it posted to YouTube. Okay, so here is how this turned out and in all of its gorgeousness. Um, I think... And then here's how this one looks. 
So I think what I want to do right now is take my Stabilo All pencil. Uh, this is a water soluble pencil. Sorry. There you go. In case you're curious. And just kind of outline my hearts a little bit more. And just kind of make them pop off the page a little bit more than they are now. Um, and maybe even a little bit on top too. And then I'll go ahead and add some uh, water to this and kind of smudge it a little bit, I guess. Uh, so I'll do that to both pages. Hopefully it doesn't make the rest of the watercolor run a little bit more, but I guess we'll find that out. Um, so I grabbed my a water pencil for my water brush. So just go ahead and yeah, very carefully. I don't want it to be like crazy um, because it could easily get too too much um, shadow, but just just a little bit won't won't kill us here. So. Kind of losing the shape of the heart here, so I don't I don't really want to do that necessarily. Um, okay, a little bit more water. <laughs> I don't normally just put it in my hand like this, but <laughs> hey, it's working, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> there we go. That's that's kind of what I was looking for. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the same thing on, wash my hand, um, <laughs> on the uh, journaling card or whatever we're calling this thing. Um, yeah, I think I liked it on the outside of the heart rather than on top of it. So just kind of do that here. And then after this, uh, I went ahead and looked through my Tim Holtz quotes stickers to see what I might find. Um, I found a couple, I found two that would work. Um, I'm trying to decide right now though if I want to just put it on here or if I want something on the um, actual page as well. But let me let me tackle this one first, and and then we can go take a look at that. Yeah, this Billow All pencil is just pretty darn awesome. I'm really glad I picked this one up finally. It's kind of something I've had in the back of my mind um, to just get for a while now, and I just never thought about it. And um, I've been making a lot of Amazon purchases recently, and it occurred to me that, oh, I could just go ahead and find it here and <laughs> be done with it and have it. <laughs> so went ahead and picked that up. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like how it's just adding a bit more shadow to this. It's kind of what it needed. Did I do this side? Did I do that one side twice? <laughs> okay. Well, this is just a little too perfect. Let's Fan that out a little bit there. 
And I think you might be able to do this too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Just add a little bit more color that way. That's not really what I wanted to do there. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Pull some of that out. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and just let that dry on its own. That's kind of an interesting little design there. Okay, so here is a closer look. I kind of really like this. Um, now, I did find this one. It says, listen to your heart there. Um, there's also this, you are loved, which would be good. Um, go with your heart would be good. Uh, love you, this happy life. I don't know. And then there's this uh, set, too, that I have that... Um, what did I find? Well, this is part of a sentence, and I never know how to make sentences. <laughs> it never comes out very well. Um, let's see. Where did I... Oh, a corner of your heart. Um, there was something better on here. Where was that? Heart and soul. With all my heart. I do kind of like this one because it's just simple. Um, I also thought about doing just like love is or something like that. Um, let's see. We all, I also have this one. It's the small talk occasions, which is really more for, <clears throat> um, it's really more for holidays and stuff, but so like here, this is Happy Valentine's Day, but True Love, XOXO. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't really quite... This this spread for me is not about loving someone. It's just about showing love, you know, in general. And just having that be a beacon in your life, right? So um, I don't know that these are really kind of what I want to rest in peace. Um kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm going for. Yeah, these are not quite right. Okay. So the other one I have is this just chit chat which is just like words. Um and Okay, so Love is a beacon. Maybe that maybe that could be it. Okay, so let me see if I can find that. Love. It got, it's got to be here somewhere. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Well, there's is. How is love not on here? Maybe it's on this page. Maybe I've already used it. I kind of doubt Beacon is on here. <laughs> okay, so back to the drawing board. I really like that. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget what I said. Um, and I'm going to go find some stamps. So, where's my... Love is a Beacon. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go find some stamps, stamp that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, 
I found this sticker set that I forgot I even had and there are some stickers in here that are absolutely perfect um, quotes that I think I really like a lot better so or equally maybe not better but equally so all things grow with love um, but this one a joyful heart always blooms I really like that So, and then I could use this one maybe on the front page here so that um, at least it'll tie in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Or my heart. <laughs> hmm, well now I'm not sure. A joyful heart always blooms. I like this one for multiple reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. See, I need to... Oh, and then I just covered up the butterfly again. <laughs> well, that butterfly was destined to be <laughs> covered up, I guess. Okay. So, a joyful heart always blooms. Now, where shall we put that on here? Maybe just right there. Yep. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to do my Stabilo All Pencil again, and we'll just add a little bit of a shadow. To both of these. I really love this little pencil. It's pretty darn fantastic. Very cool. All right, so there's that. I'll show you in just a second. Closer. Okay, I need to hurry and get back downstairs. <laughs> I'm taking a break, <laughs> which I don't ever do. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so here is this page, and that's how that one turned out. I'm also getting sunshine in here, real close. And then here's this page. So I just love that little extra shadow that it adds. Um, just really nice. So, okay, I need to add my date. And then, I can't remember if I was adding the number of the prompt that we were doing or not. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I gotta go back and find that prompt number. Um, not sure where I want to put, maybe I'll put the date on the bottom of here. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so, date. 
is no longer January. It's February. What day is it today? It's the 10th. Okay. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do it going vertical like that. So here's that. And then now what number was what number was our prompt today? I'm not going to put it back in here because it's still wet and I don't want to have to <laughs> try and do that. Number 37. And I need to circle this. We'll use the 0 0.05 pen and just try and make it kind of small. my chicken scratch. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there we go for today. Um, that turned out pretty darn cute, I'd say. So, uh, hope you had fun. I know I certainly did. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye guys.